We need to add more monsters to the roster. Any ideas? Non-wyvern monsters. Different classics. Add the recolors of the monsters already in. Welcome to the Monster Matchup, the show where you get to know your foe from head to toe. It is I, the most frequent uploader of videos this side of the U-tubs. Well, we got ourselves a double whammy today with not one, but two monsters. Both of them being variations to ones we've already covered, Pink Rathian and Azure Rathalos. If you haven't watched my episodes on the standard Rathian and Rathalos, you should. They provide insight on the core functions of the two monsters and tie in with this matchup pretty well. I especially dislike the blue one. So even though I typically use about 2% of my Monster Hunter power for educational purposes of the show so I don't kill the monster outright, for these two, I will be properly channeling my inner wrath. Yes. Great Sword is the god of raw unadulterated power. I am compelled to flex. What do they bring to the table? How hard is it to beat them? Will I upload again before the release of Iceborne? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Let's find out. Three, two, one, begin. First up, Pink Rathian. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is back at it again with the obsessive running, occasional fireball, and now featuring even more usage of that wonderful tail. I'm being sarcastic. Where Rathian is typically fought in the Ancient Forest and Wildspire Wastes, Pink Rathian resides in the Wildspire Wastes and Coral Highlands. Which means, yes, you actually could find two types of Rathian at once. And if you don't like getting slapped back and forth by two meaty poison booty clubs, engaging the two at once is not advised. So, what makes Pink Rathian different from Rathian? As I mentioned before, it uses its tail a lot more. Now, it still uses the rest of its fighting capabilities too, which include but are not limited to this rubbish multiple times in a row, the one thing you forget that it can do because you've dealt with the tail for five minutes straight at this point, and the fitness gram don't stop, baby! Now, Pinky having to rely on her tail has a pretty big drawback. Dare I say a, uh, weakness. Because it capitalizes on the tail attacks, removing the tail makes the battle considerably less triggering more so than the basic Rathian. However, when you try to cut that thing off, you may be met with the good old patink, because Pinky's armor is extra thick. Make sure to maintain your sharpness for melee weapons, and for the most efficient results, you're gonna want to attack just the tip. Weak points. The head, wings, and juicy tail are weak points, with the head, wings, and body being breakable so the reinforced thickness Pinky has can be chipped away to do more damage. Element weaknesses. Fire? You should know better by now, my child. Pinky doesn't have much chill either, as water and ice aren't going to be very effective. Like many monsters, the most effective elements are going to be thunder and dragon for this one. Ailment weaknesses. Poison and blast are doable, but not the most efficient. Sleep and Paralysis will keep the Marathon Runner in place, and huzzah for Hammer Mains, because Stun is once again at three stars. The word of the day is bonk. And then boom, you beat Pink Rathian. Good job, yay. On to the next one. Azure Rathalos. Mm. Azure Rathalos is one of the few non-Elder Dragon monsters that have gotten me pretty heated. You can encounter this monster in the Ancient Forest and in a region new to the monster matchup, the Elder's Recess, where a hunter's dreams and aspirations go to die. Now, as you all know, swooping is bad. This fella insists on never, ever, 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 ever touching the ground. It will land to stomp on you, but that's about it. Blue Dabu Dabu does fighting capabilities include, but are not limited to, covering the field in fire, consecutive poisonous swoops, and tail attacks, just to spite you. Now, the tricky part with the Onslaught of Azure is reading his flight pattern. Because it has so many aerial attacks that it capitalizes on, you have to really learn the flow of the monster. Flash pods will once again be your best friend, as I've mentioned before with Rathalosa. Break them wings. Speaking of which, weak points. What do you know? The head, wings, and tail are all weak points. Again, with all of them and the legs being breakable. Break them good for daddy. Element weaknesses. <laughs> Water and thunder? Negative. Ice and dragon? That'll do, Hunter. That'll do. Ailment weaknesses. Poison and blast are gonna be the less effective ones again, with sleep, paralysis, and stun being pretty effective overall. And yeah, 
That's about it on the color swap couple. Again, they have much in common with their vanilla counterparts. You're gonna want fire resistance, stun resistance if you can, antidotes and herbal medicines, and for the love of everything, please bring flash bugs. And the last thing that will make things easier is, again, using the environment to your advantage. Final verdict. Azure Rathalos deserves the utmost severe of punishments because he starts fights with Dodogama, and that is unacceptable. Next time, dummy thick.